Modern combat aircraft are usually extremely sophisticated technological marvels, made with expensive materials and fitted with all sorts of highly advanced avionics and smart weapon systems. In other words, they cost a lot, with only a few countries being able to field a few of them. But if we went back to the times of piston airplanes, for example, you'd see a completely different picture. Thousands of fighters and bombers waiting in their hangars for their time to shine. Today, we're going to speak about the most produced military aircraft in history. Let's kick it off with the Soviet Yak-9 fighter aircraft. With 16,769 planes, belonging to this series making it into the sky. It was a well-optimized design, giving the military a production-friendly, highly agile fighter with excellent handling. The Yak-9 was used in combat in several roles, with some of its variants fitted with pretty powerful guns, like 37mm or even 45mm cannons. All of that made the Yak-9 the most produced Soviet fighter aircraft of World War II and allowed it to remain in service up until 1950. Now it's time to welcome the most produced jet fighter aircraft in history, the Soviet MiG-15. Making its debut right in the middle of the 20th century, it became a landmark achievement of the Soviet aviation industry. Its swept-wing design, with a tailpipe going all the way back to a swept tail, armed with three high-caliber autocannons, a classic fighter of the early days of jet aircraft. The MiG-15 fought American Sabres in Korea and became one of the symbols of the start of the Cold War. Around 15,560 of these fighters were produced in the USSR and the countries of the Eastern Bloc, and around 18,000 if you count the aircraft made under license in China. Next up is the consolidated B-24 Liberator, an American bomber. With more than 18,500 of those built, it's the only representative of its class on our list. The B-24 was designed to become a new standard heavy bomber of the USAAF and incorporated lots of cutting-edge technologies like the highly efficient Davis wing, giving it a high cruise speed and a long range. Then we have the German Focke-Wulf FW-190, with around 20,000 aircraft made. By mid-war, it proved to be an excellent plane to complement the battle-tested BF-109. With even the earliest models boasting considerable firepower and great speed, the Focke-Wulf 190 was easily one of the most dangerous war machines available to the Luftwaffe. The bronze goes to the Supermarine Spitfire, an iconic British fighter aircraft, being one of the first monoplanes ever adopted into service by the RAF, it was also one of the best fighters of its time. Thanks to the pure genius of British aeronautical engineers, and specifically R.J. Mitchell, known for his record-breaking racing seaplane designs, Britain got its high-speed, high-maneuverability fighter as early as the late 1930s. And not just that, the Spitfire was also well-armed and extremely modifiable, allowing it to fight its way through the entirety of World War II, from the Battle of Britain to the last skirmishes in Europe. Not to mention that it remained in service well into the 60s, the Cold War era. In total, more than 22,000 aircraft were built, if we count the naval Seafire variant as well. In second place, we have the most produced fighter aircraft in history. 
the German Messerschmitt BF-109. Just like the Spitfire, the BF-109 was extremely versatile and in many cases could be modified to suit the conditions of a particular theatre of operations right in the field. Furthermore, almost all of its variations, barring the very earliest ones, were armed with excellent cannons. All in all, more than 30,000 of these birds were made at Messerschmitt factories. They were also manufactured post-war under license in Spain and Czechoslovakia. And finally, the absolute champion, legendary Soviet Il-2 Sturmovich. You know the one. Its arsenal of guns, bombs and rockets made this flying tank a true nightmare for ground vehicles and infantry alike. But that wasn't all. Thanks to its maneuverability, which was decent for a plane of its class, it could even take on fighter aircraft. In total, there were around 36,000 Sturmoviks made, an all-time record in the history of military aviation. Every single plane mentioned on the list wasn't just a testimony to its creator's talent, but also a reliable tool for thousands and thousands of pilots. What's your favorite? A Soviet or a German one? Maybe you're fond of the glorious Spitfire? Tell us in the comments below. <laughs> We're itching to find out.